Hello my loves, I hope you're amazing. My name is Rowie Singh and welcome back to the Makeup Loft. So today I'm gonna to be showing you how to create this natural smoky eye look with a pop of red. But my main focus is just to talk to you guys about Maybelline's 40 shade foundation range. It's the Fit Me Mattifying Liquid Foundation and I'm literally, no joke, going to be swatching all 40 of these shades you can see behind me. So yeah, let's not waste any time and I'm gonna jump into this look. Okay, so I've already primed my face just to speed up the process and I've used Maybelline's Illuminating Master Primer just to give me a bit more of a glow because I am going to be using a mattifying foundation. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in with my shade of the foundation which is the shade 310 and I'm just gonna buff that into my skin. And then I'm just gonna dot it around my face. I'm actually keeping the coverage quite light underneath my eyes because I'm going to be going in with my concealer anyway. So I'm really just focusing on the outer edges, making sure it's blending all the way into my hairline as well. I think what I love about this foundation is that, yes, it is mattifying, but it doesn't dry at your skin. I mean, it still leaves that natural shine and it doesn't make you look flaky. The other thing I like about this foundation is that it has these special micro powders in the formula that actually controls the shine and blurs your pores. So it really does give you like the most beautiful airbrush effect on your skin. I'm going to be honest with you, I've got like some really, really frustrating acne right now and I have no idea where they came from. Normally my skin's pretty good, but I've just had this random breakout and I've got it like in such an odd place like on my forehead and on my cheek here. And those pimples are annoying, they're red and they do not hide. Like they are there for everyone to see, but actually just applying this foundation, you can't really see it. You can see like a little bit of it coming through, but like for the most part, not there. My next step is to go in with my cult classic, the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer in the shade Medium. This one's actually brand new, so I've just got to wind it up quite a bit first, and then you can see the product coming through. And I'm just going to dot that, pretty much just like create a couple of dots under my eyes like that, down my chin, and up my forehead as well. A couple more dots underneath, and then using a damp beauty blender, I'm just going to blend that into my skin. I'm not gonna lie to you, I'm actually dying to do my eyes, so I'm gonna do my eyebrows real quick and then we can get stuck into the eyeshadows. Sweet, so I've finessed my brows, and now what I'm gonna do is go back in with my instant age rewind concealer and just sort of conceal my eyes so I can get a nice blank even canvas from when I do my shadows. I'm just going to blend that in with my beauty blender. Just pinching it just so I can get those inner corners. I'm going to go for like a neutral burgundy eye look. So I'll be using the City Mini palette in Chill Brunch Neutrals. I'm going to go in with this nice dark burgundy purpley colour there. I'm going to tap my brush into it, just tap off a bit of extra pigment and then I'm going to start sort of just tapping that colour in and then I'm going to blend that into the crease. So to darken that colour and to create more pigmentation I'm just going over what I've already done with that same colour add a little bit more dimension as well. So you can see, once I start adding like another layer of color, it starts to get a lot more pigmented. Now I'm just gonna go in with this little shiny gold color right here. So I'm gonna take like a smaller brush and I'm gonna run that across the inner corner of my crease and just blend that in with that burgundy shade. Now I'm just going to add some lashes, so just give me a hot minute while I put those on off camera. Alright angels, I'm back, my lashes are on, and now I'm going to add some master chrome into my inner corner, top of my nose, the side of my cheeks, just pretty much everywhere really. I'm just going to dust that on my cheeks, just like that, tip of the nose. And I'm actually going to go in with like a smaller fluffier brush and add a bit of highlight to my inner corner. Even just putting it on the brow bow as well. For lips I'm going to be using, it's this gorgeous like cherry colour. The actual colour is called Ruler and I'm just going to apply that to my lips. Okay. 
Okay, my angels, so my look is complete. Looking flawless, and it's all thanks to my Fit Me Foundation in the shade 310. Alright, so now this is what I've been waiting for this whole video. I'm actually going to be swatching all 40 shades from the Fit Me Matte and Paulus range. This is actually a huge deal, you guys. Like, having 40 shades in a drugstore makeup brand is pretty much unheard of. Like, it's so rare. It's such a huge deal, and it's really amazing that Maybelline actually understand that you can't actually retrofit everyone's skin type to 10 shades. Australia has such a diverse group of people. We need to be catering for everyone. So I'm actually not going to waste any more time and I'm going to jump straight into it. Here I go swatching all 40 shades from the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Paulus range. I've done 20 shades you guys, I'm halfway through only, and these are the swatches so far. This is 310, this one's my shade. Guys, I swatched all 40 shades on my arms. I don't even know how to show you them all at once, but here we go. So these are the shades on my left arm, and these are the shades that I swatched on my right arm. I hope you guys enjoyed that and it gave you a better idea of how many colors there actually are in the Fit Me Matte and Poreless Foundation range by Maybelline. My name is Rowie Singh, and don't forget to subscribe to the Makeup Loft below, and I'll see you soon. Bye.